Hi, this is Nick. Welcome to the channel where we talk all things real estate in the Czech Republic. Today, we're going to continue on our energy series and we're going to look at how you can cut your energy bills back down to 2019 levels. Based on the average increase of prices of gas and electricity, we need to cut our energy usage by around 40% to get back to the levels we had in 2019. And that is not an insignificant amount. I've done some research on the matter and i am present you with the data now that I've got. Heating for most people is the main use of energy in their home. Um, and as a result, trying to reduce that amount has the biggest effect overall on the amount of heat, amount of energy that you'll use. Uh, for every one degree less that you heat your house for eight hours, you can reduce your energy usage by up to 1.5%. So if we manage to reduce the average temperature in the home from 23 degrees down to just 19 degrees in the winter, we can save a huge 12% of the total bill on energy. Now that's quite difficult, but quite a large saving at the same time. Hot water is another big use of heating in the house. And by reducing the amount of hot, the temperature of the hot water from the average 65 down to just 40, you can, you can half the actual cost of that. And that reduces the overall consumption of energy by another 8%. So we're up to 20% already. Now this next one may or may not be applicable for you, but for a lot of people, they use uh, tumble dryers or clothes dryers to dry their, um, dry their clothes in the winter, especially. And these use an awful lot of energy. By not using it, you'd save up to 5% on the average household bill. Now the next group of items I'm gonna kind of put together are all to do with, with cooking and food. Um, the first one is using a freezer. Um, a lot of people have freezers on and don't really have much inside them from my experience and that freezer is normally contributing towards 2% of your energy bill every year. So by getting rid of your freezer or just turning it off you can save that 2%. Refrigerators, turning them right down uh, to uh, their warmest temperature, especially in the winter, um, you know, where you'll, you'll have, you'll have a consumption reduced by one and a half. And also changing cooking habits in general, the way we heat water, trying to, you know, not, not cooking things for absolutely ages that take loads of energy, like big stews and casseroles and stuff like that. Um, interestingly, if you can cut all that out, up another one and a half percent could be saved. So that's another 5% just on cooking. But again, may change the way you live your life and it's not, not that easy for everyone. Our miscellaneous little appliances account for 20% of average household uh, energy bills. So that's, you know, anything from TVs, computers, um, lighting um, and uh, hair dryers and little things like this. They, they all add up to quite a lot. And if we can reduce that down, that usage down by 50%, uh, that would be another 10% saving on the household bill. Overall, to me, it seems really, really tough that you would be able to sort of maintain the sort of same levels or close to the same levels or standards uh, of living with reducing your energy bill down to that level. But that's one way in which you can achieve it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.